Bridge Johnson here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. Sorry I didn't do a video yesterday. I am working on something. I am going to be doing a special Brunching with Brit, unedited, uncut edition that is going to be going up either tomorrow or Friday. I'm actually leaving to the desert with some of my girlfriends immediately after this video. So um, I will be shooting a video out there in the desert um, with some of them about or for brunching with Brit. So stay tuned for that. Um, as far as today, I am really excited because I get to talk about my Dallas Cowboys. It's always a good day when you get to talk about Cowboys Nation. So um, Friday is going to be the kickoff start date for Cowboys to start regular practice. Obviously, the rookies have been there for three weeks now. They have been staying at the Omni Hotel, which is in the star. And so now... Um, Apparently, most of the team is going to be joining them. There have actually already been a lot of players that have checked into that hotel. And the Cowboys have decided they are going to do their training camp version of the bubble. Now, I don't think it's that far from <clears throat> anything we've ever seen with training camp. Like, usually training camp is kind of like a bubble. Players are not really allowed to leave. Um, they're not allowed to have girls in their rooms, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, fans are usually allowed to attend and cheer their team on. Um, I usually go to the Cowboys training camp when it's been in Oxnard, California, and um, go cheer on my Cowboys that way. Um, so, obviously, that part will be different. Um, but this year, because of COVID, teams were not allowed to travel to where they normally go for their um training camp bubbles so the cowboys have decided to do a bubble at basically the omni hotel um they're gonna have all their players there their trainers coaches any essential personnel all staying in the hotel it is not mandatory but to my knowledge most of the players have decided to opt in to stay in the hotel because guess what like every year the cowboys are in the running for a chance to win the Super Bowl. And I like, as a fan, I always have that mentality. I am so glad the t players have that mentality too for them to decide, you know what, this is not a mandatory bubble, but I think it's important that our team stays healthy. I think it's important that our team stays together and ready for this season when season comes. Obviously, we're not having a preseason this year. Uh, rosters for training camp have been bumped down to only 80 players. Um, but I'm really excited. I think this team really wants this win. We deserve it. Um, please. <laughs> oh, gosh, the struggle of being a Dallas Cowboys fan. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way besides I would love to win. Um, but I like the mentality this team's going in with. They are staying in this bubble. They're going to do it for training camp. This is not something that is league-wide. I know a couple other teams are trying to do some type of camp, too, um, inside of a bubble. The Saints have been doing what Sean Payton calls a soft bubble, and they have brought their players together. Obviously, some stars like Drew Brees and Cam Jordan opted out of their bubble. Um, but as far Far, I mean, obviously, this is probably going to change by the time this airs. But as far as I know, most of the Cowboys players are opting in for this. And I think it's a great opportunity to, um, you know, be together as a team and see how this works. That, that's the whole point of training camp. That's why they usually take the players away from their home cities, their home fields or whatever, and take them to another location to have training camp because this is a time where players need to bond together and they need to get that camaraderie going and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it makes only sense to do some type of bubble heading into um, this upcoming season instead of having, like some teams are doing, having players just go to the facilities every day for a couple hours and practice and then go back home. This is obviously hopefully going to be the safest way since the NFL has not committed to um, exact protocols or things that they are going to do for the regular season. Um, so far, we've gotten just as far as not having the preseason. But what happens when regular season starts, I don't know. I think, obviously, players are going to be more susceptible and vulnerable because they're going to be traveling to other cities and being around other teams that are not participating in a bubble-like atmosphere. So, um 
I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know what's going to happen with the seasons. Obviously, the Pac-12 and the Big Ten have already canceled their their fall sports. Um, I'll probably talk more about that later on in another video because I feel like another conference might actually jump on board with that as well. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about um, teams implementing a bubble-like system for training camp and what do you think about players who opt out of doing that bubble? Are, do they not want to make sure their team is successful and healthy and safe throughout the season or are they just doing it because they would like rather spend time with their families um let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below thank you again so much for supporting me watching all my videos um again look forward to seeing that brunching with brit desert edition um, make sure you join my notification gang so you know when that video is posted and i will see you guys soon bye